Hi, this is Bob Fossil with a short video to show off my newly resurrected uh, ZX Spectrum Plus 2. Apologies for the video quality. I'm filming the screen with my camera, so uh, I'm not doing an emulation capture or uh, video capture from the ZX Uno. This is an actual uh, proper spectrum I'm trying to record, so it's the only way I can do that because I haven't actually got any sort of video capture hardware. So, yeah, it's resurrected, it's been rescued from its exile in the loft of my house. Um, surprisingly, after quite a long time of either being up in the loft or stood under a bed, it does all seem to be working. Uh, it's all in one piece. I think that's a, a testament to the uh, uh, build quality in the components that Amstrad used in the Plus 2. Uh, I don't think if I'd got my other uh, Spectrum or 48K Plus and turned that on after all this time, I don't think that would have uh, worked so well. But yeah, Plus 2, uh, new power supply and a Div MMC Future from the Future was 8-bit. Uh, hello Rod. Uh, I now run and test my browser and actual hardware because before that I was either trying it on my ZX Uno or under emulation in, in Fuse. So uh, I'm using, come, DivMC comes with a Kempster interface and I'm uh, using uh, Sega Mega Drive joypad because that will let me use the two uh, Kempston fiber support that the DivMC Future's got. So uh, if I go into the NMI, uh, select, do select B, and if I go down, select a classic game like Bear Bot. Also, the other thing you can do if you go into a folder then B, you press the C button, which is a second row button, and that will do pair and directory, but if we go there and press B, and you've got beachhead. So, yeah. It's a really nice device, the uh, DivMC Future. Uh, recommend it, a uh, bit of a late review, I realise. Uh, oh. Shut up. Got mine in the uh, matching plus two grey case colour, so I think it's the one of the very few or only peripherals I own for the Spectrum that actually matches the uh, plus two case colour. They always tend to be black because the all the other models of Spectrum are black cases. The uh, plus two was the outlier. I'm sure, Amstrad had a reason. They must have had a job lot of grey plastic they needed to uh, get through. So yeah, uh, it's a nice injection moulded case on the DivMC Futures, there's no exposed circuitry or circuit boards, there's no jumpers, you just sort of plug it in and it all uses magic and it just works. Uh, one slight criticism is the position of the NMI and the reset button, I think they're a bit too close together. Uh, I first couple of times when I thought I was going for the NMI button I actually clicked the reset button so it'd be nice if the reset button was either on the side of the device or a bit more offset. Uh, it would also be nice if the, I don't think the Kempston interface supports the Kempston mouse, well, it didn't work with my Kempston mouse when I plugged it in, but I said those are they're minor criticisms, so uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a nice device and uh, I, I recommend it. Uh, the only shred with the plugging the Div MMC into the Spectrum and that was just an issue that you tend to get with peripherals on the Spectrum is the uh, the edge connector uh, I had to give it a, a deep clean to get a reliable connection with the Div MMC Future uh, Div MMC Future just come with a, a like a freebie edge connecting rubber some of those like red pencil blue ink section rubbers you used to get for school uh, I wasn't that keen on using something so abrasive on the edge connector it's Quite elderly now, so I gave it a couple of passes with some alcohol and cotton wool, and that stabilised the connection. Uh, did that a couple more times, and yeah, no problems now. It's, it's been rock solid ever since. 
plus two wise, the only issue I had with the hardware was the keyboard. And apparently the, the Amstrad keyboards are supposed to be rock solid, so it's quite a rarity for it to not work. But as I say, as soon as I switched on everything for the first time with the keyboard unplugged and you know, lo and behold, the one swag came menu, powers on, because uh, it didn't have the GMC connected. As soon as I powered the keyboard, uh, plugged the keyboard in and powered back on again, got the one to OK menu and it sounded like a machine gun going off because the one to OK menu thought the key was being held down, so again it's like sound. So I tried cleaning the keyboard, took the membranes apart, wiped those down, uh, put those back together, and I was still getting heavy machine gun fire. So uh, I had to admit defeat and in the end I bought a refurbished replacement keyboard off eBay, which was a bit of a joke because apparently it was 100% tested and super refurbished, but the, the semicolon and speech mark keys in the bottom left of the keyboard were the wrong way around. So that must have obviously slipped through the testing net there. So, yeah. I haven't tried the tape recorder, but then I've got a div of MC, so I don't really need the tape recorder. That's heresy, I know, but uh, if I'm desperate to load games off tape, I can load PZX files on the uh, on the ZX Uno. But it's been it's been really nice to actually get round to you know testing the code on real hardware. So I found a couple of bugs with the keyboard and joystick handling that didn't appear on the Uno or in the Fuse. Uh, the Kempston handling was a bit spongy button wasn't great so I rejigged and optimised some bits to try and improve that. So I've also extended the uh, second fire button support so now I've actually got a, a joypad to actually test with as it's a bit easier to test that. So uh, you can now use the second fire button, you can you say currently you can use the second fire button to do pair directly but in the test version I've got here, if you do, just show that, if you do, hold down left and C, you get back to the beach head beeping away. So, back in there. So I've mapped a couple of uh, operations to the direction, on the, on the, the di joystick directions and the uh, second fire button. So uh, yeah. There we go, uh, not a massively interesting video, but uh, so I've now got a dead expect and working, so if people do have issues on real hardware, I can now test on real hardware, because I think somebody was saying that on the, the their plus two, uh, the up and down wasn't working, but so it's working here, and then do the same on the joypad that does that. So I don't know what's going on there, but you know, developer's favourite statement, well, it works on my machine, so uh, there we go. Anyway, uh, I think I'll leave it there. I'll see you soon in another video, so uh, take care. Bye.